boy be T don't miss. Bang, 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 boy, shit break. Boy, shit break. On a hard thing out of Alabama, you can add Nick say. Add Nick say. What's the word, Hit Squad family? It's your boy, the Alabama hitter. And, hey, man, right off the rip, I need y'all to go dumb on that like button, man. Yeah, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell on the side to be notified on each and every time we about to slide. Pull up a chair, man, because this is Hit Squad TV. And today, I come to you with a bit of tra tragic news. Sad news concerning three um, athletes. Yeah, I know this is laying out lane, but you know, this one hit kind of close to home, you know. So, we're gonna speak on it, man. We got three athletes um, Kyrie Jackson, Isaiah Hazel, and Anthony Litton Jr., all from the same high school in Maryland in the DMV. And um, the reason this one hits home is because um, Kyrie Jackson actually played some college ball at the University of Alabama under the GOAT, Nick Saban. And he was a hell of a player. And he's recently drafted to the Minnesota Vikings in the fourth round. And unfortunately, tragedy befell these three brothers and uh my condolences go out to their families y'all by the community is in mourning after three local football players were killed in a tragic car crash all three of those players were teammates at wise high school and one of them Kyrie jackson was recently drafted into the nfl by the minnesota vikings seven news sports anchor natalie spala spoke with their coach at wise and natalie i know he is heartbroken Carly certainly is, and this is just an absolutely tragic story. Kyrie Jackson had just fulfilled his lifelong dream of being drafted to play professional football. Here he is, number 31. You mentioned these three were former teammates at Wise, but they were also very close friends. Isaiah Hazel, he spent four years playing with the Maryland Terrapins. He was just 23 years old. And Anthony Litton Jr., AJ, they called him. He played at both Florida State and Penn State. He was 24. Prior to college, all three helped lead the Wise Pumas to numerous state championships. I spoke with their former head coach, Delon Parrish, who tells me they shared a very special bond. They shared a beautiful relationship in their successes and some of their failures, that they pushed each other towards greatness and they still hung with each other. It went beyond football, that it was a bond and a friendship. And their parents can tell you, they knew each other, they was at each other's houses, and it's so many young men that they touched and we'll never forget who they were. Now Parrish is also sharing a message to all young people saying to make good decisions and always work towards being great. Carl? All right, truly a tra tragedy there. Natalie, thank you very much. So apparently these three brothers were um, out celebrating at a hookah lounge um, on Friday night and leaving the hookah lounge they were racing, um, racing two different cars, and one car lost control, hit their car, ran their car into a ravine where they hit multiple um, tree stumps and succumbed to their injuries. Um, it's a shame, y'all. It's a shame and a disgrace. Fellas, um, you have to be guarded at all times about the decisions you make. Life is very fragile and you have too much at stake. Whether you are a football player in the National Football League with a contract on the line or you are a father, a son, a brother, trying to get back home to your family life is very fragile and we gotta move wise man even in our most fun moments and our most laid back relaxing moments you know all of the benefits that we enjoy as people going out and celebrating and living our lives we have to be cognizant 
that life is very fragile and it can take a turn for the worse in an instant. Classic example. Our former Raider Henry Ruggs is serving out his prison sentence, partly at the governor's mansion in Carson City. He is serving time at the Stewart Conservation Camp in Carson City, and the Nevada Department of Corrections confirmed he's been assigned to work at the governor's mansion. He works there during the day and then returns to camp at night. Now, back in November of 2021, Ruggs was reportedly driving as fast as 156 miles per hour down a residential street with a blood alcohol level twice the legal limit when he hit and killed Tina Tintor and her dog. So as bad of a situation as this is, if you are up and coming athlete, you're an up and coming college student, you are up and coming period. Be wise, move wise, be cognizant of what you got going on, man, because it's a lot at stake. And with, it, with that being said, I want to say rest in peace to these three young brothers from the DMV with so much life left to be lived, you know what I'm saying? Um, they met their untimely demise. Prayers out to their families and love and condolences to them all. You know, this is your boy, the Alabama Hitter. If you still rocking with us, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell on the side to be notified on each and every time we decide to slide. And man, rest in peace to Kyrie Jackson, AJ Lydon, and Isaiah Hazel, man. Introduce yourself. Marco Helms. Helms. From Washington, D.C., committed to Alabama. Isaiah Hazel, Washington, D.C., committed to Merlin. University of Merlin. Uh, at one point, I wasn't really thinking about football much. Um, I had just won, like, employee of the month at a grocery store. So I really wasn't thinking much about it. Honestly, I was just like, hey, I guess I told my mom at one point in time, like, I guess I'm about to be, you know, working at a grocery store. And I played 2K a lot. So I was trying out to make it to the uh, NBA 2K League. But yeah, for a bit of a second, the football had got a little foggy, I would definitely say. <laughs> With the 108th pick. <laughs> In the 2024 NFL Draft, the Minnesota Vikings select Kyrie Jackson, defensive back, Oregon.